Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Taken. I have a particular set of skills. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Wait, that's a different man. That's not me. This was a late goodbye. 13 years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. Wait, that's Max Payne. Gruesome, slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. <laughs> I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Oh shit, that's Max Payne. Pretty cool little Easter egg. All right, where's the kitchen? I gotta make coffee, haven't I? <gasps> Got a new TV. Wait. Oh, damn, it's a CRT. Game showing its age. Those textures, though, on that carpet. Where are we in New York? Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Look shit. Oh really? Well, you seem to think so last night. And who is this man, by the way? That's not me. I'm just gonna go down the pub, Alice. I'll see you later. I can't examine that shit. Can't believe that's all you've done as well while I've been putting the kettle on. Oh shit. How'd you get out of this place? Oh, is it in the next room? Oh my god. I didn't see there was a radar. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box. I'm right here. Oh my God. I'm on it, honey. I've got to do everything. Hurry. Got to do everything in this house, man. Honey, cheers, Munch. I appreciate it, dude. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Kill literally the only thing on the screen, the only HUD piece. Jesus Christ. I'm legally blind. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Oh, avert your eyes. Demonetized.
I'm too young for that kind of thing. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small Big town old stinky doctor. fish on the table. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. <laughs> if he'd have just turned to the fish and says, What's your diagnosis, Mr. Scales? <laughs> Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be uh -huh. fine. I don't have Doctor's not stay blatto. Oh, it's her again, look. Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? You. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Hey, you! Can you help me? Can you turn the lights on? Uh, where's the light switch, man? Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, whoa, 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 what they've been saying. Like You're crazy, man. Drunk would say, but uh, they're not aliens, they're demons, the man. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Ah, uh, another thermos and a radio. Wait, what, what happened to all my guns, actually, mention, uh, mentioning all that? I had a load of guns on me. Surely that would have been uh, a question to be asked. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. <laughs> oh, manuscript. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, forced myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? you for a week you and alice i've been worried sick i flew out yesterday i'm here here in bright falls barry listen to me i'm at the sheriff's station come and get me i can't talk now al what the hell is going i had to get the sheriff to let me go i needed to get to elderwood national park to meet alice's kidnappers ah oh, great i'll save her do you see that no he's asleep Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have 
inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake... My offer still stands. One should begin. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Uh, skeleton of Colombian mammoth, a mammothus columbi. This specimen uh, eliminated... Oh, eliminated? Yeah, it was. He's a skeleton. Estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the Labri Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998 when the Colombian mammoth became Washington's state fossil. Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Is that, that dog now, that disappeared? You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come I'm on. I'm fine. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, <laughs> let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Awesome. Crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. 
I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. I'd have just said Rip Alice and stayed with Barry, to be honest. All this spooky shit out there. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. All right, leave those lights on. I ain't crazy, man. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Walk through the door now. Jesus. Anybody home? Well, tell me about it. No uh, hello? Knock, knock. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Wait a minute, Rust is that cop, isn't he? Oh shit, is this telling us what's gonna happen down here? Manuscript first. I'll, I'll help you in a sec. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Help! Shit, son. What the hell did this? Hello? Back here. I'm back here. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand oh. what had happened. Slap, slap a bandage on that. You'll be good as good as new. Uh. I was too late. Oh, no. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Great. Rusty! Rusty! That looked like liquid darkness. I just need haunting presences. Shit. Rusty, you good? 
You good, bro?